Hello and welcome. I am the Gaming Trucker and this is Destiny 2. Uh, it is, uh, what is it? February 22nd, 2023. Uh, the week before the next major release in the Destiny 2 series. Um, the reason I'm starting the week before is that's usually the prep time. Anybody who's familiar with Destiny 2 knows that that's the grind, getting your missions stacked up in preparation for the next season. Um, I have played Destiny quite a bit, been a supporter of Destiny since its initial release. And uh, let's see here. We have a Titan, a Hunter, and a Warlock. Uh, when I started out, I was always a Warlock. Well, I didn't. I was all three, had all three characters, but uh, I favored the Warlock. Then I switched over to the Titan, and but this for this playthrough, I am going to use the Hunter. That is my least skilled character, and the purpose of this playthrough is going to be a a, a fresh run of of Destiny. What what a new player that comes into Destiny, what they can expect to encounter. Now I, uh, I this is a fresh account. Um. I do not have uh, a stockpile of weapons. I do not have a stockpile of armor. No, no materials. Nothing. I I, I started the uh, the Titan character and played it for about seven hours, and then I I stopped and decided I want to do a fresh playthrough. I do not have any expansions except the upcoming um. Nightfall, I think it is, is, is the expansion. I'll, I'll have to look at it here in a minute. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's jump in this. We're going to jump in as a hunter um, because, in my opinion, it is one of the more difficult classes to master, and it'll be a more appropriate... Um, I don't know. Body. Okay, body. Human, Awoken, Exo. We're going to go with, with the uh, Exo... randomize what i'm doing is i'm flipping back and forth uh, to randomize the appearance i am going to go with a masculine appearance um not giving us many options yeah what the heck let's go with that one uh there is the awoken and the human and uh we'll, we'll look at those at different classes face type you can change your face type right there uh, right now it's on this one so you can go like that this the other I don't spend a lot of time looking at my own character so I'm just gonna <laughs> leave it a lot like it uh, originally was or or not you know maybe change it just a little bit okay fine uh, your head features there you go there's all your head features markings you know do are you battle scarred uh, we're just gonna leave them just like that and like you said, there we go. That is the uh, Titan, human Titan that I've started up already. And we're going to come in as a fresh hunter. When you start, a brand new character starts in the game. Here you go. They're going to start at light level 1350. They're not going to start at zero. They're going to start at 1350, just like this. All right. Uh, let's jump in here. And I will be pretty much quiet during the cutscenes. I love watching the cutscenes. And uh, anybody out there who wants to see them, I'm not going to interrupt your experience of it.
We called it The Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. But the Traveler had an enemy. A darkness which had hunted it for eons across the black gulfs of space. Centuries after our golden age began, this darkness found us. And that was the end of everything. But it was also a beginning. Guardian? Eyes up, Guardian. It worked. You're alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost. And you? Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. This is fallen territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Hold still. Don't worry, I'm still with you. You need to move, fast. And except for the voice, that is the same introduction from... This place is an old Cosmodrome, a Russian spaceport. It's quarantined now, and quite dangerous, but our only way forward is through that wall. Yeah, as I was saying, that is the same introduction as uh, from the original Destiny 1 game. Uh, it was reintroduced, it wasn't the original introduction to Destiny 2. I'm really glad they brought it back. This, this whole area is, actually. Need to get you back to the city. To do that, we'll need a ship. But first, I need to find you a weapon. Let's keep moving. It's a risk, but I'll get us more light. Hard military system, check. Frayed wires and rust, check. When I flip this switch, expect trouble. Not good, not good. They're definitely not happy to see us. There's a rifle. Grab it. I brought you back for a reason, Guardian. You're a hunter. That means you're not afraid to take risks. So, keep moving and be ready for a fight. Wow. My aim was off a little bit there. <laughs> Stay focused. Melee. The blitz, there's trouble nearby. It's cute to toss a grenade. Where? I'm not going to just toss it anywhere. Alien pirates picking at humanity's remains. Speaking of pirates, there's a loot cache. Let's take what's inside. Shotgun.
Okay. Storm falling. Hit him with everything you've got. F for the super. Your light is strong, Guardian. Wow, that lasted quite a while. Whoops. Dismiss that. Okay, and unless things have changed, I believe our our own grenades do hurt us, so be Keep careful of that. Forward. I'll locate a ship we can use to fly home. And that is actually another player, another real, real world player. Let's see what we got here. Just glimmer, which is the money. Whoops. Oof. City. Shaw, where are you? We can help. Cass, Maeve, if you're hearing this, rendezvous at the following coordinates. Something's interfering. I don't think he heard us, but I've got a lock on his location. Okay, so we're following those uh, those diamonds, the white diamond right there, to show us where to go. will take me a while to remember um yeah to remember that the the hunter the class that I'm playing does not have a uh, a glidey jump to it it's a multi jump and I'll I'll show you what I mean here shortly the light. I didn't think we had other guardians on patrol here. Listen, my fire team's missing. I need backup. And Oh, you're fresh out of the grave, aren't you? We heard your distress call. We're here to help. Brave. I like it. Tall order for your first day though. Uh, doesn't help that I rushed the perimeter scans and now I need to locate my team before there's nothing left to find. Sit tight. I'll get you to the city soon enough. I've made it this far. Let me help. I get it. Nobody likes to be sidelined. Guardians are stronger together. Isn't that right? Huh. You sound like Commander Zavala. All right, then. Load up. This is gonna get dicey. But do what I say, and we'll get through it. We won't let you down. Yeehaw! Follow my signal. <laughs> Uh huh. Right. So, unfortunately, the beginning of this is going to be a lot of cutscenes. A lot of who's who and what's what. But, uh, yeah, as a new player experience, that's what it's all about. Figuring, figuring out who's who and There's what's what. That locker. Probably an upgrade for you. Grab it and head to my location. Okay. Um, F1, to open up your character screen. 
That's the one we've been using. Uh, blue is always better than white. Obviously, because it says rare right there on the right side of the blue bar. So we're going from a 1350 to a 1361. Definitely a, uh, a little level up there. 1350 on the shotgun. We don't have a heavy yet. And that is our ghost shell, which is upgradable or, or rather interchangeable. And our various armors, which we don't have any upgrades yet. XP gains increased by two for your first five seasonal ranks this week. Okie dokie. Completing seasonal challenges grants the most progress, followed by bounties and quests. Alrighty then. Uh, and it looks like we don't have access to either of those other subclasses yet. So we're going with the uh, Gunslinger Hunter class right now. Okay, details. Yep, I... I <laughs> I have, like I said, I am a supporter of Destiny. I've played Destiny for years and years, but uh, I'm not hardcore. So a lot of the. I'll scan for signals from my jump ship. I need you to be my eyes on the ground. So right now, <clears throat> excuse me, I am practically a brand new player. There is a lot of mechanics that even I don't know. Something's causing interference. My scanner's shot. I might be doing this the old-fashioned way. Analyzing. I've got a source for the interference. Let's check it out. Press tab to see your current objective. Right up there. Also, on the top left of the screen is a little uh, compass showing you where to go. Get the fallen off that thing. Use when melee energy is full to perform a charged melee. I've been trying and it's not doing anything. Press C. Oh throws knives okay get me closer to that antenna oh over here this antenna okay stolen city tech has Beep. been spliced in here that's scrambling your scans fallen can't resist tinkering with old scrap little reload there. this will take a minute to fix just a minute though right Press, use your class ability to dodge. Okay. Oh, was I supposed to let you actually get down first? Sorry. Alright, what do we got? a better use of the grenade. Damn. Fire team signals are missing and last known locations are nowhere near each other. Hmm. They wouldn't split up unless things got real bad. I'll track Cass. You find Maeve. Sending coordinates now. Doop -doo. Over here we go. Can I make it? Yes, I can. Hi. So the hand cannon, which is what I'm using, has a lot of stopping power, but not very much range. Myths say the fallen once lived in the traveler's grace, but something happened. The traveler left them. And that brought ruin to their civilization. 
They've come all this way chasing what they lost, hoping to get it back. Or take it from us. Can't get through there. All right, so that green is for our secondary weapon, like the shotgun. Just walk over it or really, really close to it, and it will collect if you have room for it. Find Maeve. Okay. All the way up there. Okay. Um, how about we borrow one of these? I promise I'll bring it back. Uh huh. Hmm. I thought I saw somebody up here. Looks like the fallen want to keep us out. Or keep something in. There's worse than dregs in old Russia. Let's check out the control unit. Control unit. Oh, this thing. This is locked down with adaptive encryption. We'll need access keys to bypass it. The fallen okay. salvagers might have some. Will somebody bring it to us, or do we have to go find it? Uh, no, it wants us to go find it. Okay. How about you? Do you have a key? No. Whoops. Man, it's been so long since I played Hunter. It's going to take me a, little, a while to get used to the jump. And I'm not much for hand cannons. Actually, I used to be. Ooh, look at that. Shiny. Boots. We got boots and a mod. Excellent. Let's take a look here. I'm uh, going to go from 1350 to 1358. Eh, it's an upgrade. We'll take it. All right, who's shooting at me? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I could use some aim assist. And in case there was any question, this is... Oh, would you get out of the way, please? Sorry, this is on PC, by the way. Uh, Destiny 2 is cross-play. Uh, even on Stadia, when Stadia was still alive download that's one key we need two more all right i think stadia's done with right hmm bye bye hi bye Charge. Where's that go? Right there. Oops. There we go. A lot of kick to this shotgun. And this direction.
right, we'll go pick up that charge and put it in there. Leave us kind of vulnerable standing there like that. That's all the keys we need. Right, these guys. The their shots do track, so you gotta be careful. And all the way back up there again. Okay, well, guess what? We got another vehicle sitting down here. So I'll borrow another one. Let's come this way. There we go. Ooh. Shaw, you were right about this barrier. The phone were keeping the hive at bay. The Mave is in more trouble than I thought. You need to hurry. Oh, and there might be a little bit of a bug in here. I don't mean a creepy crawly bug either. This is a powerful surge of arc energy. Ooh. Whatever's causing it, even transmats won't get through right now. So we'll keep going. Alright. Hello. Anybody here? Anybody want to play? Hide contact. Yep. Apparently there was somebody there, and they want to play. Alright, so that, right there, is called Glimmer. That is money, basically. What they use for currency. The darkness is suffocating my light. Super ability. F to use your super. Mave signal is just ahead. Okay, and I am horrible about using my super. I don't ever... Hey! There... There may still be light left in her ghost. No. Shaw. I'm sorry. We were too late. I was too. Cass, I... I couldn't get to him in time. There was a hive wizard. A powerful one. He tried. This isn't on you. You did what you could. We have the remains of her ghost. She'd appreciate that. You should just... Just head to camp before that wizard comes back. Alright, that's the end of this, this mission. There's a timer going down. Yeah, the bug I was, think I was talking about uh, once you get to that point, it wouldn't progress. You had to go all the way back out of the building and back in again in order to continue in the story. All right, fast travel. Guardians can use the destination map to quickly travel to specific low places. Hold tab to, to open the map when already on a destination, uh, meaning when you're on a planet. So hold tab. That'll bring up this map. All right, this is the map of your current destination, Cosmodrome. Press and hold a uh, left mouse button on the landing zone to instantly travel there. Escape to dismiss, go away. So we are all the way up here. This is us, the little green arrow. This is a fast travel location, but it wants us to come all the way down here. It doesn't exactly point us in that direction, but that is the indicator letting you know that's where we need to go. So we're going to go to this fast travel location right here. And 
And there's Shaw. Even the light has limits. Sometimes you don't come back. That hive you saw was a powerful wizard named Navota. Didn't expect to run into something that strong, and I wasn't prepared. Now it's too late. Maven cast knew the risks. The best way to honor them is to finish the job. There's a Golden Age relic, a superconductor, in a sealed chamber nearby. Vanguard says we can make a weapon out of it. The problem is, the superconductor is overflowing with arc energy. Can't even get near the place, much less break the lock. We need to find a solution, and something tells me our fallen neighbors know a thing or two about the infrastructure here. These were my fire team's assignments. They're yours now. Go shake the tree. We'll see what falls out. Mm hmm. Oh, cool. He's going to give us a sniper rifle. That is another special weapon that can be uh, used to replace that shotgun. Alrighty. Learning light. As you offer the remains of Maeve's ghost to Shaw. He pauses, then gestures for you to wait a moment. He pulls the edge of his cloak taut, materializes a knife, and slices a strip of cloth free. With reverence, Shaw wraps the shards of the ghost in the shell of the cloth, then holds the bundle gently. It's an old hunter tradition, a way to honor lost friends. Not practiced much these days. Looking back at you, he seems to realize something. His eyes brighten and search all around you. Have you felt your connection to the Traveler yet? Alright, Guardian rises. Travel back to the Divide. We'll get to that. Uh, have you felt your connection to the Traveler yet? He asks. I don't mean throwing purple grenades and shooting golden guns. Something deeper. Deeper, man. Shaw tells you to find a quiet place and meditate on the light. Strange as that sounds, he promises it will make you stronger. Don't worry, it's not supposed to make sense. Well, that's good because you know what? It didn't. All right, accept that. Uh, right, Witch Queen requires Destiny 2, the Witch Queen. So as a brand new player to Destiny, if you've never played before, if you don't have all of the expansions purchased, you cannot play that. You're limited right there. I, uh, on my primary account, yes, I do have every single expansion that has come out and will come out in a week but on this account uh I, this is supposed to be more of a new player perspective okay we cannot access that now i did uh purchase the upcoming expansion for this account uh that is the lightfall expansion and that comes out on the 28th so just under a week away however we can take the bounties dailies uh, these are the dailies. These one, two, three, and four. This is a uh, um, what is what does it call it? A random obtain an additional random bounty from Shaw. So these are renewable. You can keep getting these over and over and over and over and over again. You can only hold uh, five at a time, but you can come back and get more once you complete them. Uh, what's the point? Well, it'll give you experience points by completing them it costs you three thousand glimmer each so kill a lot of stuff open a lot of chests while you're doing them these first two however are weekly bounties all right they're worth a lot more um these are dailies these for these four here are dailies they're worth quite a bit uh, these are worth even less you see where it says rewards there's a little banner xp here it says XP plus, and over here XP plus plus, and Glimmer underneath that. So you're getting the most for these two, because they are they only renew once a week. These four renew every day, and the last one gives you the least amount of experience, but you can get them over and over and over again. All right, Learning Light. Commune with the Traveler to learn its lesson. All right, M, or View Details. Okay, M to View Details. Ah, okay, right there, Learning Light, Campaign, The Steps, Cosmodrome, Commune with the Traveler to learn its lesson. Excellent, okay. Now down here we have A Guardian Rises Campaign, 
Exodus Garden to a Cosmodrome. Travel back to the Divide to discover and clear the Dock 13 Lost Sector. Defeat Fallen in both areas to recover data scraps. All right. So, look at the top of the screen. There's the A, Store Season 19 Quests, Map Destinations, uh, um, how many friends you have online at the moment and d a and d is well you can press a to go to the left they press d to go to the right and to scroll through destinations map quest 19 season 19 and store so right now we're in destinations um if you don't know anything about destiny well that's the tr that's the the uh the tower destination okay looks like the traveler hmm. interesting the helm is a different destination altogether. These are community areas where you will, will interact a little bit with uh, other real-world players across the world. Uh, Cosmodrome, EDZ, uh, the Moon, uh, Rathmore Chaos, Europa Destination, um, Arcadian Valley, Nessus Destination, the Dreaming City Destination. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's account wide. Darn it. Darn, 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 darn. All right. Um, what am I saying darn about? Well, if you look down here, I'm, I'm highlighting the moon destination and ancient evil stirs beneath the shattered surface of the bar moon. Destination unlock progress experience 269,830 out of 270,000 experience points. It looks like that is account wide wide now because i uh did start playing with the titan for like eight hours uh, that progress has carried over to the hunter class so it is account wide so no matter what character i started um that uh, xp would carry over so we're going to unlock that moon destination here very 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 shortly we just need a few more uh experience points we're going to unlock that that destination um, over here, uh, Nessus will unlock when we get 450,000 points. Uh, the Dreaming City will unlock when we get 360,000 points. All right. And Europa, I'm not exactly sure. If we select it, it looks like... Uh, where is it? Uh, not available to us yet. Right. We have to progress a little bit first before we can even consider going here. Okay. Uh, map. Our current dest our current location. Quests. Here we go. Quests. Season of the Seraph. Let's take a look at this here. Um, this is account wide as well. See, as you can see, I have a little bit of seasonal rank there. Uh, if I come down here to week eight, this is for the current season. These are objectives, challenges for the current season. Now, I've only got a few days. I'm no, not going to be able to do hardly any of these. So I'm not even going to stress about it. But yeah, as soon as you do certain things in the game, you will be able to claim these uh, challenges, objectives, and... Uh... Wow, yeah. Got, uh, We're showing a fallen skiff en route to the Cosmodrome. Unassigned hands, please respond. That's an optional event that's going on in, in the map close to me that I can join in on. But I'm going to go ahead and claim this reward. It's going to give us experience and some bright dust. Bright dust is, I think, unlimited. You can keep collecting it over and over and over again. All right. We just now unlocked the Dreaming City and the Moon. Wow, okay. And Nessus. Got it. Okie dokie. Just by doing that. Uh, calibrate pulse rifles, fusion rifles, and power grenade launchers. Rapidly defeating combatants and defeating gardens will award bonus progress. So that I did that with the Titan. I was hoping it would not carry over, uh, but it did. So... Nothing we can do about that. 
Right, these are our two main quest lines that wants us to do right now. That's Learning the Light, A Guardian Rises. This is the main quest line right here, A Guardian Rises. This right here is an optional quest line that will allow you to op open up subclasses and uh, additional attributes for your current class. So if I get out of here, oh, press... Yep, thank you. Press F1 to open up my character sheet. Up here, the flame, the fire is your subclass, current subclass. Right click to get details. And there are different perks you can unlock and open up and use. And uh, yeah, by go go by meditating and uh, doing things for the... All this tech out here left behind. Yeah. There's got to be some treasures in the rubble. Uh-huh. Sure. Right. Um, <laughs> communing with the Traveler and stuff like that will, will uh, open up more perks for your subclass. All right. 1350, 1361. We're going to go with that sniper. You do not have to have the highest level piece of equipment or armor uh, equipped, actively equipped, in order for it to count towards your total power level. Okay. Uh, my current power level is 1354. Don't up around here. Yep. Always need more scouting. Uh huh. I really don't want you talking in my ear anymore. Thank you very much. Over there is the public event. I don't see anybody else at it. Maybe this guy's gonna go over there. Um. Yeah. Where was I? You do not have to have the highest level equipment active um, in order for the game to recognize what's your highest uh, power level could potentially be. Okay, It's automatically going to calculate it for you. Uh, things you have here in your backpack, so to, so to speak, or things that you might have in the vault, in, in the uh, stored away. And you'll, I'll show you those later on. Alright, Glimmer. That's our money. Legendary shards, that's used for upgrading and purchasing special things. Silver, that is uh, real world money, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, money out of your pocket that you could put into the game for cosmetic things. All right, it's not going to help you win the game. You can't throw a bunch of money at the game and, and just win in, in one weekend. Sorry, weekend warriors. Sorry, too bad, so sad. Uh, and here's the Bright Dust. This is also for cosmetic things, okay? And this is in-game currency that you can acquire. Right, let's let's uh, move on, shall we? Triumphs, collections, clan, yep, clan maybe later. And our current inventory, things I've been collecting. Uh, this is account-wide as well, all right? And grams are not. This over here, consumables are, though. That is account-wide. Right. Um, current objective is uh, a guardian rides. Do we want to do this learning light first? Commune with the traveler to learn its lesson? Sure. Uh, if you look on that tooltip that popped up, on the very bottom it says track details and abandoned. If you uh, left-click, you can track that. It's going to point you in the right direction to get there. So that's right over there. Let's uh, test our sniper here. Ooh. I don't know if that was me or this other guy up there. All right, let's grab a little bit of this. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. All right, so my uh, favorite weapon from the past is got to be the scout rifle. Start patrol. Not at the moment. We're going to come over here right quick and do that uh, communing with the light thing. Do, 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 and meditate. Yep. Meditating. 
All right, let's start that one. I thought for a second there, I really thought that that's all it was going to have us do. Just sit there for a second. Uh... Okay, this one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, no jumpy, no uh, shooting yet. Date. So this is a very, very unique and special uh, mission. Your grenades are going to regenerate almost instantly. Yeah, you touch that, it's gonna hurt. Just so you know, in case you didn't know. Alrighty. Oops. E, not C. More grenades, okay. Try to not touch this stuff, okay? Yep. Um, excuse me. <laughs> okay. All right, what's going on now? Give me that a little reload. Um, oh, through here? Okay. Uh, over here. And over here. And we're out. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Do some more meditation stuff. Gotta do that five times. Okay. What are you doing? I don't like it. Stop. Oh. Now what? Oh. Okay, I get it. All right, all right, all right. Um, so, we have a timer, and every time we do this, it resets the timer? Yes. Alright. 
30 seconds left on that timer. Back up, back up. Thirteen seconds left on the timer. I really don't think we need to explode any extra things. Two more. Just use our super. Oops. Sorry. Meditate. One more. Okay. Oh, thought something else was coming at us. Ooh, look at that. All right, now if if I had missed this engram, I didn't even tell you guys these are called engrams. If I had missed that, it would not have been a big deal. As long as it is blue or better, uh, the game will automatically pick them up for you at the end of the match. Uh, even if it's a free world travel situation. All right. Now what? Oh, over there. Hey, now what? There's something else. There you go. This direction? Maybe, possibly. Well, I'm following the compass arrow up there on the top left. Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, yep, there's more right there. Okay. Thought that was it. Okay. 
way. Are we going down? Yep, we're going down. Oh, hello. Oops, I did not mean to activate that. Activated the golden gun by accident. Okay, so the timer has run out, but we can come back to this one. There we go. That should be it right there. Gunpowder Gamble, Solar Aspect. Interesting. Okay. Um. Meditate again. Ah, that's it right there. Yep. Ember of Combustion. So that was unlocking different aspects of your subclass. And you do that multiple times for different subclasses. Speaking of subclasses, in the next expansion, there will be a brand new subclass that nobody has had the opportunity to play with yet. That will be very, very cool. Right, so hold tab. And actually, it showed us right there where, where to go. Um, we're going to head back over here. Learning Light. Actually, we're just going to go back to Shaw and talk to him again. Uh, we can walk over there. Or we can fast travel. <laughs> Why not fast travel? Huh? It's, it's just right there. Um, would it have been faster to walk? Run? Skip? Jump? No, that was faster. What's up? Here to help. Okay. Uh, Shaw looks at looks you up and down as you stride into the scout post. I see you've made progress. I knew it would happen soon, but it's amazing to see how much you've learned. He smiles. Not long ago, you were fresh out of the ground with only a rusty rifle to your name. Now you're on your way to mastering the powers of the light. Ikora had better keep an eye on you. Make sure to tell her I said that next time you see her in the last city. Shaw looks down at his cloak, freshly mended from where it was cut earlier. Just remember, this power has its limits, Guardian. Keep your ghost close at all times. It's a lesson we players of Destiny have learned a couple times now. Uh, we grow attached to certain characters, and then we lose them. Very sad. Very sad. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's go ahead and open up 
Attract activity, not on this destination. Press tab. Okay. Now, what's going on is we're still tracking that uh, learning the light quest. And that wants us to go and talk to Ikora, I believe. But we don't want to do that right now. So we're going to untrack that. Go back to here. A guardian rises. Track that one instead. All right. That's This is the main quest line right here. And that's going to open up more possibilities to us. All right, let's open up our character screen here and see what we've picked up along the way. All right, there's the hand cannon. That's the best thing we had. Now we've got 1363 combat bow. Bows are actually very, very powerful. It's not just the uh, the power level that they have, the 1363, but in general, bows are very powerful. All right, we haven't unlocked any more uh, specials. We have not unlocked a heavy yet. Uh, we do have a new cloak over here, 1360. That's a nice upgrade right there. Go ahead and equip that. It's going to increase our overall power level. Um, I haven't talked too much about that. I talked. I just lightly mentioned it there. Um, this will be influenced by other things, and it won't make sense until I actually can show you. So we're going to leave it Happy right to do a tune there. On that weapon of yours. You would. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Thanks, bro. Ooh. Hi. Bye. Ooh. Hi. He's not gonna go by as easily as the other guy. Just so you know. However... Whoops. So yeah, um, taking primary or primary, the bow is a primary weapon. However, headshots, landing precision headshots with this thing, just like that, will uh, um, create these crystals, which will freeze other things close by it and explode, causing damage if it's hit again. All right, but we want to go back through that other way, way back there. All right. Uh, open up the map. We are, again, right there. That's our green arrow. We're going to go over here, all right? Actually going to come inside this facility in here. Now, these episodes are going to be quite long. I only have less than a week to get myself um, as much progress as possible. All right, that was not a... a uh, There we go. Yeah, so even if you don't land a precision shot, you can still kill them with one shot. But landing the precision shot will... Um, will grant you that crystal formation and allow you to do even more damage to other things that might be around it. Just like that. Now, I don't know if those shanks have a uh, primary... Sorry, have a precision spot. Uh, this here is a resource. So you hear the little jingle. Go ahead and collect those. Something going to fall out of the sky on us? No? Okay. Ouch, bright light. But yeah, lots of range on these things. And uh, it is, if you give it a second, 
quite easy to land those precision shots. Might as well get a little bit of glimmer out of that. Fallen data scrap. Okay, cool. Um, yep. Oh, this way. This way. This way. All right, so you see this sign. This is an indicator that there is a... Uh, would you not do that, please? That was not nice. A lost sector. That's what this indicates right there. It's also on your map. Uh, if I come down here, we are right here. The lost sector starts right there, actually. But this is an indicator of, hey, go this direction. There's another indicator up there. Letting you know you're going in the right direction. Right, the bow is the one one of the weapons you do not ever have to... to uh, do a reload on. It's a single shot weapon, so. Oop. Hi. Bye. So, yeah, you, uh. Unlike. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that. Okay. Unlike a hand cannon or a sniper rifle or auto rifle or a machine gun or a shotgun or any of those other guns where you actually do need to reload the magazine this being a single shot weapon lost sectors discovery you have found a lost sector these are dangerous areas where powerful combatants guard chests of loot yeah buddy whatever you see this symbol out in the world that means there's a lost sector entrance close by and I just told you guys that didn't I so, very cool. Hi. Alright, yellow bar means... Well, he's got a lot more health, and he does a lot more damage. And... Woohoo! Alright, so we want to go that way. Come up here, grab a little more. <laughs> I'm going to go... I'm going to go this direction. I'm not going to go that direction. I'm going to have to go all the way around. Okay, that was misleading, wasn't it? All right, that glimmer in there. There we go. We were close enough to collect it. I love that. Grenade over there. Yeah, buddy. Collect that glimmer and off we go. So as you can see, that is quite powerful. Excellent. Now that was a fusion rifle. So yeah, you can only hold your bow for so long before it will automatically fire. Gotta watch out for those snipers. They will take you out rather quickly. Alright. Looks like we are full on that uh, special ammo. Let's go ahead and pull out our sniper rifle. A little more damage on that one. Ooh, nasty. I'm super quiet. That's just because I'm concentrating. And having a lot of fun. And 
Now, when you're doing this, make sure you do keep an eye on um, the compass in the upper right. And when I'm zooming in, it takes that compass away. So be careful about that. All right, let's come over here. Take that guy out. Now, that should not ever hurt you when you blow up one of your own uh, crystal towers like that. Let's see if I can get that one. Whoops. Time for the sniper. Twenty thousand. Ooh. So as you can see, hitting those crits is super important. Twenty thousand versus what was it? Six thousand? Alright, we got the cash code when we killed that big mean guy right there. So I don't have to aim down the sights. I am much more likely to hit a... Uh, make a critical hit when I do. Collect that. And we got our first heavy out of that. It wants us to come back this direction. We might as well go. Oh, look at that. Mm. I just enjoy shooting these things. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we did unlock a, a slot on the artifact, and I'll show you that as soon as we get it. The Titan that I played uh, a little bit earlier has the artifact. It's why it's uh, showing us that. Right, so yeah, the bows, very, very powerful weapons. There's another... Uh, resource. Alright, let's get up here. Excellent. Now where are we going? Now, I believe as you use these weapons and gain proficiency, you do gain a slight uh, damage boost. No, I could be mistaken. Whoops. Aww. All right. Uh, where are we going here? That way. Oh, yeah. I'm going in the wrong direction, wasn't I? So are we just heading back to Shaw? Ooh, look at that. Right there. We want to go collect that. That is a special chest. Uh, there we go. Region chest opened. That, it, that... They used to be much more difficult to find, but these days, if you open up your map, you can actually find them right there on your map. So they're not that difficult to find, unfortunately. Okay. I 
really do love that. Certain weapons have that perk. It's not every bow that does that, by the way. That is the aspect of this specific bow. If I bring up my... Oop, nope, 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 nope. Hi. Okay, now. If I bring up my, my character screen. This bow, the... Uh, uh, Lunulata 4B combat bow. Uh, the blue... Uh, shard kind of like thing is the aspect of this weapon um there you go this one is fire that one is void okay the different weapons have just different aspects and not every single shard weapon will make those shards if i look at the details of this weapon here uh right there headstone trait these are um I can find another Lunalata drop. It may not have that headstone trait. I think. Uh, certain weapons are locked, have locked perks, uh, but uh, that they're few and far between. But anyway, yeah, headstone trait, precision final blows spawn a stasis, stasis? stasis crystal at the victim's location. Also has... Beast Stinger, origin trait, damaging an enemy with his weapon, has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down sights. Bows receive faster draw speed, and swords receive faster charge rate while this perk is active. So, this is on a bow, so it would re receive a faster draw speed. So I'll be able to fire even faster um, if, I have, if I have that trait active, and it'll have, have a little icon on the bottom right of the screen if that is active. All right, range finder, aiming this weapon increases its effective range and zooming magnification, increased projectile velocity while aiming rocket launchers, grenade launchers, and bows. Excellent. Carbon arrow shaft, light and stable shaft material, flexible string, all right, different traits. If you look at the, at the right side of the screen, there's the uh, traits of this weapon. Ac impact, accuracy, stability, handling, reload speed, aim assist, and zoom with airborne effectiveness. Draw time and recoil direction. Different attributes over there. If I select a different uh, option over here on the left, those attributes change. Green means it's it improves that, that aspect, and red means it decreases. So if I choose... A uh, high tension string instead of flexible string, I get better accuracy but lose a bit of stability and handling, and uh, a, 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 a my my draw time will be worse as well. All right, carbon arrow shaft versus natural fletching, I will lose a some uh, accuracy and gain some stability. But if you combine these, you know you, you'll gain you lose accuracy, gain stability but I can gain a lot of accuracy losing a bit of stability. And then you also lose the handling and draw time. So you can combine these other two perks and gain a bit of accuracy. Um, you know, and, and you can just pick and choose which one of these perks you want active. You can swap between them whenever you choose, unless you're doing a very, very specific mission which locks your weapons and it will warn you before you start the mission that your weapons are locked all right now down here this infuse if you have if you pick up a weapon for your primary slot that is a higher level you have the option to infuse it into this one to increase your overall power level of this weapon this perk is is uh, um, random all right with each drop it could have been accuracy, it could have been uh, draw time, it could have been a couple of different things. But I can increase my accuracy by spending Glimmer. Uh, the more I do that, the, the more it will cost, and it will also cost different more rare objects as well. You can only do that up to a level 10, but when you do that, it masters, it makes it a master weapon, and it gives it... Uh, um, as you can see, it makes it a masterwork item. Sorry. 
and it gives you an extra perk and other other traits as well now this is a mod slot we don't have any mods that will apply to this right now we did get a mod earlier uh, i don't know if you actually caught that but we did but it wasn't for a primary weapon right so that's weapons in a very very brief nutshell you can lock the weapon you can press shift to lock it or you can click this button that just makes it so that you don't accidentally delete it if it's if it's got traits that are just outstanding making it a, a really awesome uh, weapon or piece of armor you know you don't want to accidentally delete it if you're clearing out your 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 backpack or your vault you know, it's just uh, one way to keep it from keep it safe. All right, press R. Use while drawn to cancel the shot. Look down here. Lightweight frame. Uh, recurve bow. Draw quickly and move faster while this weapon is equipped. Press R to cancel the draw. Because if you 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 hold down your left mouse button to draw you let it go to fire and uh, you can hold on to it for a while trying to get that perfect shot and if, if you don't want to shoot you don't want to alert the enemy that you're there press r to cancel the shot all right uh, cosmetics you can change the looks of your weapons and some also have a very special cosmetic you can apply to them we did get another chest piece here yes a nice upgrade right there 50 we can delete this uh, F to dismantle. We're not going to hold on to any greens whatsoever. Uh, yep, get rid of that. Here we go. 50 to 65. Absolutely get rid of the green. And we're also going to get rid of the blues as soon as possible. Unless it has a, a specific perk. Uh, attribute like mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, or strength. That, that we really want at that moment. So let's say we, we were... We're on a timed event or something, and we need some ag additional mobility. You know, well, we would want to keep different pieces of armor that have increased mobility. The Hunter is a, a character that you do want a lot of mobility with. It is not a very strong character. You will die a lot, especially in uh, the Crucible, if you are not fast and nimble. Let's move on, shall we? Now, just a heads up, these episodes will be a lot longer than my normal ones, just because I don't have much time to make all the progress that I really want to before the the uh, before the reset next week. Okay. According to that schematic you found power grid here is linked to a dormant comms array. That array should be pulling plenty of juice from the grid, but it's offline. If we spin it up, it might stop the overload and get us to the superconductor. Trick is, we need to be at two places at once to reboot. The array itself, and the power station. To top it off, Novota is still out there, so you need to watch yourself. I'm not losing any more Guardians today. Okay. All right, excellent. We get Nightwatch Scout Rifle, one of my favorite type of weapons. Explosive Payload, Overflow, and Lightweight Frame. I love Explosive Payload. I used to. I don't know that it's a great perk today, though. All right, let's take that. Guardian Rises, mission completed. Complete the mission, Cold Boot. Got it. All right. Let's complete that mission, shall we? Ooh, somebody opened a chest. Let's take that. We'll get that. Ooh, we got some boots out of it. Is it better than what we have? 58, 69. Yes, it is. We'll get, okay, these are rare. These are legendary. Legendary is better than rare, but we're going to get rid of the legendary because uh, we're going to keep getting more and more and more and more and more and more gear right away early in the gameplay. So unless it's it okay um i should have explained that to the very bottom of those stats Ooh, that's actually nice nice spike right there in resilience hmm sorry uh <laughs> the bottom the total 52 points 
in stats. If it's like uh, high 60s, heck if it's in the 60s, keep it over something that's only in the 50s, right? So that's something you want to keep an eye on. Now, combat bow is 1363. Nah, scout rifle is 1366. It's a little bit better, but combat bows have such superior stats. Or I mean, uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm pressing, I'm holding down the Q button, okay? And it's comparing what I have active, which is the bow, to the Nightwatch scout rifle. The only thing it has better is its uh, main overall power level. And it's only three points. So I'm probably, even though I love scout rifles, I'm probably going to just keep using the bow. Now, because I have that, that 1366 power level scout rifle, that's going to, going to uh, uh, influence my overall uh, possible power level. And that's what influences what drops you get in the future. Okay. Uh, we did get this one, 1365. Yeah, we're going to put that one on, though. I do want to use that instead of the sniper rifle. Snipers are cool. Pretty awesome, especially in uh, competitive play, PvP. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the fusion rifle instead. Because I kind of suck at snipers. <laughs> Let's uh, let me show you the scout rifle, and I'll probably switch back because of the of the uh, headstone is really an awesome trait to have. All right, where are we going? This direction. Let's hold up the map. Uh, we are right here. We need to go all the way up to here. All right. There's uh, there's there is a fast travel spot right here. Skywatch landing zone. I don't think that's going to be any faster. So we're just going to go this way. Now, unfortunately, we don't at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, I do like scout rifles. And if you... I don't know if you saw that. That, uh little explosion around it around the shot the impact that is the perk um uh explosive payload take a look there uh explosive payload trait projectiles create an area of effect detonation on impact uh overflow picking up special or heavy ammo automatically loads this weapon beyond normal capacity oh Cool. This weapon has a greatly increased magazine size and uh, corkscrew rifling. Interesting. Okay. And you can upgrade the handling of the weapon. And we can put this mod on. Holding down to trigger, we'll fire this weapon in at auto fire. It's not going to be fast, but it is auto fire. I'm going to leave it as it is, though. Okay. Bye bye. I'm going to go ahead and activate this right here. Vanguard scouts report a group of hostiles threatens to destabilize the region. We need that area clear. Locate and neutralize them. So, raiding the raiders. Combatants defeated. What I activated was just a local um, mission. Side mission. Um, there are different types. Basically, the one I activated uh, should allow us to kill. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Defeat fallen combatants in the area. So I believe we can do that anywhere on the Cosmodrome. And there are fallen um, combatants in this direction. So we're going to keep on keeping on. There we go. But it changed direction on us. All right, so people are here in the area, so finding fallen to shoot is not going to be quite as easy. Uh, 
That's cool. Let's head in that direction. Oh, look at this. Scout rifle is a nice long range weapon. 28% of that uh, patrol. That's what it's called. Let's find out if we can continue that patrol on this mission. Any day now. There we go. And no, it did take that uh, that patrol away from us. Anyway, uh, we're going this direction. We need to get that array operational to balance the power grid. I can reboot it from the station out here, but not while the systems are in lockdown. How can we help? Find the central terminal. You can pass me in from there. Power to Cosmo Ops. Requesting visual confirmation of a war set about to touch down in your sector. Right, there's a public event about to happen right down there. We got some glimmer out of that chest. Now, that's a good place, for, especially for an early uh, a player, a beginning player, to get some gear and experience points right there. But we're in the middle of a mission, so let's just keep on going. So, yeah, these scouts are pretty powerful. But they become... This is a Golden Age facility. Lost during the collapse hundreds of years ago. It's amazing parts of it are still functioning. Yeah, so they become uh, less useful later game uh, because enemies become pretty much bullet sponges. If Shaw's right, activating the array should stop this arc energy from overloading. The hive nest in the shadows. They'll be on the move soon enough. The Fallen are territorial, more concerned with survivors of war. But the Hive live for conflict. In their minds, all things have to earn the right to exist through victory and combat. Okay, anything else? No? Okay, let's uh, check out that fusion rifle that I haven't used yet. We're going this way. Bye bye! Reload. Switch. So, advantage to having explosive payload is if enemies are close together, the uh, explosion will damage more than just the enemy you're shooting at. I'm just going to reload, swap, get a reload, and I have not used my rocket launcher yet. Make sure that's loaded. Looks like it'll only hold one round in the active chamber, so yikes. Okay. Uh, be careful. You shoot too close to yourself, you will blow yourself up. So if you're trying, if you're moving along, trying to shoot at something, and 
you blow yourself up by shooting at a pillar that you turned into. Um, not, that, not that that's ever happened to me. Okay. Immediately going to switch weapons. Let's hack that door. We're blocked. The power fluctuations caused a lockdown. Yeah, all right. I'm on it. Sit tight. All right. What's going to come and play? No, nah, really? Use your class ability to dodge. I have never been very good at dodging. No, not the rocket launcher. Never, ever been very good at dodging. Reload. Nothing over there. What kind of mischief? How about the loud kind? The hive are drawing power from that ritual. Ah, that ritual. Okay. Destroy crystals. Oh. Reload. There's another one here somewhere. There it is. All right now. Whatever you're doing is turning heads. Keep it up. Hide contacts increasing. I want to see what these are. Just says collect loot. Bye bye. All right, we've got an ogre up here. We had an ogre, didn't we? Yeah, we do. All right, this one does not have tracking. That's got a response. Okay, so this thing has cluster grenades, like loot, I'm out of ammo, Okay, which way are we going? Uh, this way. X. 
Excellent. There's stuff down there. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna go collect this legendary before we proceed. There you are. Now we're gonna move on. I just wanna get to a safe area so we can check out the loot that we just collected. Uh, don't have any extra ammo. Um, there we go. Special ammo right there and right there. Excellent. Now we can get out of here. Over here. safe for the moment uh, we did not get a primary we did not get a special we did however get a different heavy weapon 1367 and the other one is 1370 a few points higher that's a grenade launcher versus a rocket launcher although i do like having the cluster bombs on that rocket launcher the uh grenade launchers have a tendency to bounce when it doesn't hit what you want it to whereas the the uh, rocket It'll explode wherever you shoot it, and then it has the cluster bombs in case it wasn't close enough. That's nice to have. Uh, we did get some armor. 1369. We'll go ahead and... and uh, even though it's got less total stats, it's a higher uh, power level. We're going to go and put that on and get rid of the other one. Uh, yes, most definitely we're going to go up to a 1373. We're going to lose that resilience, unfortunately. But uh, just the cost of doing business, I guess. You cannot upgrade the uncommons, unfortunately. It has to be a legendary. I don't even think you can upgrade the rares. No. So it, only the legendaries are upgradable. I did not mention that. And that is very crucial information right there. All right. And 60, 50. Let's get rid of the 50. We already have the 60 on. Excellent. All right. Moving up. You're not sneaking up on me. Alright, one major change in Destiny 2. In the later Destiny 2 game, as in right now and, and recently, uh, primaries and some special weapons have unlimited ammo. You no longer have to collect uh, ammo cartridges for your primary or certain... Uh, special weapons. Panel. All right, let's go. Let's just get this. And then fight off the enemy. Accessing systems. Okay, you'll need to negotiate between crypto systems and verify the security lattice. Done. Breach layer restored. Master array launch queued. All right, then. Uh, rerouting power your way. And look out here in the distance. Operational. Now try to watch these things happen. Sean, what did you... detecting a large hive swarm incoming? <laughs> <laughs> 
ray's signal is too powerful. It's drowning our comms. We're on our own. So they make this great, big, magnificent animations. Hive tomb ships. And then they throw enemies at us so we can't watch them. Reload. Alright, it's still moving, and it's still forming, actually. done. It's in position now. Are we supposed to do anything except just maintain status quo? Thanks so, buddy. Bye bye. Get a reload. Collect some more special ammo. It's telling us to go back to that console. But I want to make sure I collect what ammo that I can. So yeah, the uh, fusion rifle that I'm using right now does take ammo cartridges. So if you uh, don't collect it, you will run out. Do you read? You still with me? Yeah. You're alive. I, I shouldn't have put you in that position. When you dropped off comms, I thought... Uh... We're all right, Shaw. The hive are retreating. Did it work? Checking. Uh, looks like it. Levels are dropping across the grid. Hey, Just buddy. Need to unlock the chamber now, and we can finish this. Get back to camp before Novota makes another appearance. And that's mission end. Return to Shaw at his camp. Speak with Shaw Han. Okay, now what? Um, open up the map. Check out where we are. We are way up here, and it wants us to talk to Shaw down... Oops, wrong key. Map. It wants us to talk to Shaw down there. So we'll just hit up that fast travel point right there. Here we go. Let's see what he has. Shaw? Shaw! Hmm. Take it and get out of here. 
Get to the last city. Shahan, over and out. How could he do this? Navota is still out there, and she already destroyed two guardians. This is bad. Shaw said he took the only key, but he can't have searched the whole Cosmodrome. There has to be more. Let me check his archived location data. He was recently doing something out on the Forgotten Shore. Let's start searching there. Sending coordinates. All right, so... Uh, I thought it said it left us something. Hey, I want this too. Anyway, yeah, we want to come all the way over here. So... <sighs> we can spawn in here. And go through the building and come out over there. Or... Said he left us a sparrow, so... There we go. So press tab and then press E. And now we have a sparrow. Our own mode of fast travel across the map. Because I don't think going through that building is going to be any faster than just traversing the map like we are right now. Oop, lots of noises. So, yeah, we're gonna come through this valley. Right back here. That was another player. Nice. Nice effects that they've got. You're flying over water, it actually sounds like you're flying over water. Hmm. Alright. Uh, yep. Up here on the left. Don't have to worry about picking it up. It will, uh... I think it'll remain there now. They used to despawn after, like, 15 seconds or something like that. And you just spawn it over again. Okay. Now, I've been activating these missions without showing you. There is a power level, recommended power level, for these missions. And pretty much any mission that you go into... Uh, yeah, that's that's a special event right over there, I think. Huh. All right, over here we go. I can't reach Shaw on comms. If Navota gets to him first, we need to find another key and access that chamber fast. There's some old caches nearby. Let's start there. Okay. No key. But I'm detecting residual particles consistent with cash alloys. There were more chests here once. They must have been stolen by Fallen or Hive. There's a particle trail leading to a nearby cave. Sending coordinates now. Thank you. Now, this is interesting. It's just now telling us, Oh, by the way, if you press F1, you can equip new armor. You don't think that information would have been useful, uh, I don't know, like a couple hours ago? 73 we'll equip that now now that that's not be having being sour grapes and, and and stuff like that that's just that information would have been really useful for a brand new player like in the first 10 minutes not two 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 to two and a half hours later 
you know, however long it takes somebody to get here. Uh, dismantle, which gives us glimmer, by the way. It gives us money when you dismantle that stuff. And weapons as well, although if you dismantle the legendaries, you actually get um, some uh, other things as well. Uh, I don't see them here, so I can't... Oh, there they are. Legendary shards. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Umbral Ingram, uh, level 1363. Okay, all right. I'll have to go to the tower eventually and show you all about those. All right, let's get back on the sparrow. Um. Anyway, spawn it, spawn it in again. Yeah, kind of where I, where I thought we were going. Now, I don't want to fight those other things because I do believe that is a public event going on over there. Okay. Another fusion rifle, a little more glimmer, and a chest. And another fusion rifle. I'm reading two other particle trails on my tracker. Okay. Um, open up our character again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Uh, so it's a primary fusion rifle. It just still takes special ammo, but it goes in your primary slot. Interesting. Okay. And that's a level 1377. So what we can do if we had the right, the right uh, intermediaries is upgrade either the scout rifle or the combat bow to that 1377. But let's go ahead and use the fusion rifle. Give it a try, you know. Uh, 65 or 78. What, what do you think? <laughs> 78. In case you didn't know. 78. Yeah. All right. And there's more special ammo right there. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, more right here. Uh, every time we pick up special ammo, no, it's divided between our primary and secondary slots. So... Yikes, um, that time it did not divide it because our secondary slot is full. Right, what's going on over here? Pretty sure it's a special event, but I don't want anything to do with it. We're going to go onto that boat over there. of high bioenergetics. Okay. Um. <laughs> right. Okay, fine. Right, that up there is going to be a serious pain in the backside. Let's launch a rocket at that thing. Bye bye. Take that heavy ammo and that special ammo and unlock this. Ah, there's some encryption code on this data pad, but it's incomplete. If we find more, I could fake the authorization and act as a key myself. There's still wow. one more cache okay. on the tracker. That was that nice, them spawning right on top of me like that. 
A wood. I hear a sound that, that, well, it sounds like there's another chest around here somewhere, but perhaps not. Oh, that was you. Okay. Careful. I'm detecting a high density of fallen weapon signatures nearby. You think? Hi. Now our grenade is not active anymore. Nope, 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 nope. Actually. That'll work. I don't want that. Okay, anybody else? Wow. This is a pretty cool weapon. Got it. This has enough code fragments for me to generate a new authorization. I need to boost my signal for the key to register. I'm reading the concentration of energy in the moth yards. Moth yards. I've marked your tracker. Off we go to the moth yards. Now, there used to be a cave with a chest in it in one of these turns. I'm guessing they got rid of it. This area is full of ionized superconductor energy. It must have dispersed when we activated the array. I can use this to amplify my signal. Let's collect the charges. There. I still can't reach Shaw. We need to hurry. Next is over there. Here we go. Starting recursive analysis. Thread complete. I am now authorized. Let's hurry. Oops. <laughs> yeah, is it just me or are we going in circles? Right here. I made that mistake once. Went all the way through there, and then before I realized, uh, it's back here. All right. Seems like a waste to, uh... Never mind. You have to. Yeah, you shoot the, the green crystal in the middle, and it d disables the trap. 
E to access what? Oh, that. This place is brimming with hive magic. That explains why transmats were blocked. Okay, they're gonna come out of here and there and the everywhere. Eyes up, Guardian. I don't see anybody. There we go. Don't have very many rounds left. Are you running away? The boat is gone. Wherever she went, I can't detect her anymore. But I've got a lock on Shaw's ghost. Let me help him. Shaw, are you all right? What? What are you doing here? We couldn't let you do this alone. Vota? She's still alive. Somewhere. We did enough to force her to retreat. You fought her off? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you behind. After Cass and Maeve, I was just afraid to lose anyone else. So were we. That's why we followed you. Nobody likes to be sidelined. I'm glad you were here. I owe you. The prize is yours. Superconductor is over there. Grab it and meet back at camp. For real this time. Should we tag him? I can feel the arc light coursing through this. No wonder the Vanguard want to make a weapon with it. Let's head back to camp and then the last city. Home. Now, can you believe all of this has still been the introduction? <laughs> Report back to Shaw. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Quite an introduction. Now, I think you could play uh, through most of this introduction with a friend or two or three if you choose to. Hey, thanks for the assist, again. Wish you stumbled in a day earlier. Might have gone differently. Maybe Cass and Maeve. I'm just glad the light chose you. I've got new orders to stick around and scout Novotis Brood. Maybe I'll find some other new lights to shepherd along. As for you, it's time you meet Commander Zavala. He leads Guardian Ops from the last city. I told him you'll be arriving soon with a superconductor, so take care of that thing. No dents or scratches. Zavala is a great leader and a good person. Learn from him. And don't be a stranger. Guardians are stronger together, right? Acquire ship? All right. Thank you, I'll take that. Okay. Now, technically, we should have collected these two missions quite a while ago and been working on them this whole time while we were on the Cosmodrome because we want these for when the reset happens next week. Uh, we don't want to turn them in until 
after the reset you want to complete the weeklies and hang on to them uh, requires destiny to the witch queen okay right and oh by the way if if uh you are watching this today tomorrow or, or sorry in the week leading up to um lightfall expansion uh it looks like the witch queen is on sale for twenty dollars instead of what is it 50 or 60 or 70 whatever it is so uh if you do want to play all these and collect all these extra little tidbits here and there um you know now's the time to pick it up right no i'm not getting paid to promote the game um tab nope hold down tab there we go and we will go over to quests learning light no a guardian rises travel Scary to the tower the actually both of these i believe are going to be on the tower right okay season 19 yeah unfor i wish these were not um account wide but i completely understand and if if i weren't trying to do this as a new play new player run through uh i would appreciate that they're they are account wide i never understood them much but okay so the current season season 19 season of the seraph ends in five days 12 hours i'm currently ranked 12 if you have the current season if you've purchased the current season you get up you get uh both the top and bottom items the bottom items down here are only available to the current season holders uh, top items are available to all players okay uh i can collect this right now if i choose to i can ooh, upgrade module yes please uh, a little bit of glimmer yeah okay but down here i uh, instantly claim the new exotic weapon and 10 ranks now um click to preview okay well let's preview season of the seraph okay well that's the current season that's not the next season so yeah you could do this in game you don't have to uh purchase it through any other retailer but you would have to have silver like i was talking about before that still requires uh, real world currency to acquire that silver so either way it's real money you can either do it in the game or purchase the the uh uh season or whatever through whatever platform you have okay um yeah quest map destination so we're going here all right there you go this icon the bright green icon tells you where your current mission destination is so we do want to go to the tower all right advent campaign the last city welcome to the tower the last bastion of humanity against the forces of darkness single player okay interesting interesting so that's a landing zone there there's a landing zone over here to the left and that's it for the tower armor synthesis introduction interesting all right let's get in there uh we're i'm kind of running out of time this evening so we want to get this done rather quickly
Okay, so we're not going to go talk to anybody uh, that is not part of our missions. Not yet. Okay. Um, actually, we should have done that. Oops. My bad. Loads us into a special um, room, not just the general uh, tower, where multiple players can also load into. The last survivors of humanity's collapse called the city home. This is why I brought you back. To defend them to reclaim our lost worlds. We're here. The Traveler. The last city. Welcome home. Hmm. Welcome to the tower, and the last safe city of humanity. I've been here many times over the years. I'm glad you finally get to see it, to see why we're here and what we need to protect. Let's start by registering your jump ship. Hey, Miss Amanda Holiday. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Yep, yep, yep. Let's talk. Okay. <laughs> hey there, Amanda says. As she stands up from a disassembled Sparrow engine, she wipes grease off her hands with a dirty towel. You must be Shaw's pal. He told me you were coming. Said to take it easy on you. She offers a casual smile. Name's Holiday. I run the hangar here in the tower. You need anything relating to ships, sparrows, or any other kind of engine, you come to me. I'll take care of your bird here while you get the lay of land. I think Zavala was expecting you up in the courtyard. You take care now, she says with a wave as she grabs a wrench and dives back into her work. <laughs> right. Grease monkey, basically. And they changed her model a little bit. Hmm. Next. Speak with Commander Zavala. Hey, girl, you ain't nice, Beatles. isn't it? Beatles. It's good to have somewhere that feels nothing. like home. For me, this is it. Okay, next up is tower security. We've had an increase in guardians sneaking in contraband since a fellow called the Drifter arrived. So Vanguard Command instituted a check for first timers. Looks like the superconductor's golden age tech triggered some warnings. I'm clearing it with security. Commander Zavala would like to meet you in person. I'll lead you to him. Zavala leads the entire Vanguard, the group that supports all Guardian operations. Lately, he spends more time commanding troops than fighting on the front lines. But he placed some of the first stones in the wall we're standing on. Zavala thinks every life in the city is his responsibility. Even a guardian has trouble bearing that kind of weight. He's going to need your help. All right. Up there in the sky, that's the Traveler. It's where I came from, where the light you wield came from. Okay, cool. Ah, it's you. The one that saved Shaw. Thank you for that. Your ghost has been looking for you for a long time. I'm glad he finally found you. And now you found the light. The Traveler entrusted us with this power so that we may protect our people from the forces that threaten our existence. You've carried out that duty from your first steps in the Cosmodrome. I don't take Shaw's recommendation lightly. But you have much to learn. And the conflict with the darkness is unyielding. 
We will analyze the superconductor you recovered. In the meanwhile, I've left you something in my office. Use it well. Okie dokie. Uh, welcomes you to your new home. The last city encourages you to continue meeting the residents of the tower and informs you that there's a gift waiting for you in his office. Thank you. Okay. A guardian rises. Complete your tour of the tower. Uh, Zavala's gift collected. Okay. Remember what the fight cost. Zavala doesn't usually talk that much. <laughs> you should take that as a compliment. I've marked his office on your tracker. Careful not to break anything in there. And don't touch his music. Careful. This 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 elevator is uh, quite deadly. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> I have died on that elevator before. Don't touch anything in his office, hmm? Well, guess what I'm gonna do? Oh. This is a Vanguard service weapon. Okay. But it's from Zavala's personal collection. Ooh. Shaw must have talked you up quite a bit. Or maybe Zavala saw something in you. Where to next? Oh, you should head to the bazaar. That's where we'll find Ikora. Ah, ah, ah. oh, you little turkey. Uh, yeah. We got a new, uh... Sidearm, right there. 81, okay. Now, sidearms are actually quite, quite powerful. Very fast firing. The close range, though, so you do have to get up close and personal. But, uh, sometimes that is the best way. Well, this character seems a bit bulky to be a hunter. Ikora hmm. Ray is the Warlock Vanguard. She leads the Tower's Warlocks, like Zavala leads the Titans. She does a little bit of everything. Guiding the Warlock orders in research and development, enemy reconnaissance, and internal affairs. And she's a sight to see in the Crucible. Okie doke. Welcome home, Guardian. I heard your journey to the last city was an eventful one. It may not feel like it now. But the tribulations you faced were a blessing. A guardian's path is one of hardship and peril. The traveler's gifts paved the way, but the road is still a hard one to walk. Shaw Han told me what you experienced in the Cosmodrome. How you witnessed the true death of the guardian Maeve at the hands of the High Wizard Naboda. And how you were guided by what remained of the light from Maeve's ghost. All guardians at one time or another, are shown by the Traveler how to refine their connection to the Light. How to feel and express greater sway over the powers they have been gifted. How to grow stronger. Your first guidance was born of Maeve's tragedy, discovered alone. Your next will be from me, and the lessons I have gathered from hundreds of others. We can start as soon as you are ready. Accept help where you can find it, Guardian. Our light shines brighter when we're together. Okay, well, we're gonna get a new uh, ghost shell here. All right. Learning light. Quest completed. Grow your light. Learn from Ikora and grow your light together. Move your cursor over the solar abilities menu and press the right mouse button. Ah, here. Okay, open that. Uh, you can acquire more abilities from Icor Ray by spending Glimmer. Select the class abilities menu. Open it with the right mouse button. Okay. Supers, class abilities, melees, movement, and grenades. And then there's aspects and fragments. We got some of those earlier, if you remember. So we're going to open that up. Looks like we have Marksman's Dodge. I'm really not very good at dodge. Uh, gambler's dodge. Okay. 
Acquire a new class ability by selecting it with your cursor and holding down the left mouse button. Yes, of course. Thousand Glimmer to get that. Uh, meditate to receive new subclass abilities. Dodge to perform a deft tumble, avoiding enemy attacks. Dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee. Ooh. Ooh. That could be quite useful. Dodging near enemies fully recharges your melee ability. Dodging automatically reloads your weapon. Dodge to perform an acrobatic leap upon landing. Make yourself and nearby allies radiant. Interesting. But yeah, recharging your melee just by dodging near enemies. That's quite powerful. All right. To unlock your new ability, you must meditate. Approach the meditation device nearby and interact with it by holding the E button. All right. We will get out of this. Uh, but -da -but -da -but -da. I once read a poem of a man whose soul was... Uh-huh. So, Guardian, what wisdom might you share with me? Okay. You can read that all on your own. I'm getting kind of tired here. I once read a poem of a man who, whose soul was incinerated after staring at the sun for too long. Far from dead, he lived the rest of his days in communion with the universe itself, blessing the people of his small village with wisdom beyond peer. A strange tale, but one I find myself relating to after particularly intense lessons from the traveler in meditation. So, Guardian, a chorus says and smiles, what wisdom might you share with me? Right. Okay, out of there. And it wants us to come over here and meditate. Gambler's Dodge. I'm, I'm definitely going to activate that. Because I like the melee. I really do like melees. So. If you acquire multiple abilities from Ikor, you will only need to meditate once to unlock them all. Do you have knowledge? Oh, okay. You could have told me that before, couldn't you? Yes, Guardian. Um, open. Open. Right now we have Golden Gun Deadshot. There's also Marksman and Blade Barrage. Bolt into the air and unleash a volley of solar charged explosive knives. <laughs> so we can unlock both of those. It's going to cost us 7,500 glimmer each. A precision flaming pistol that disintegrates targets with solar light. Interesting. Okay. And then there's class abilities. There's the la that last class ability. Um, making your you and your allies radiant melees we only have the one there's also weighted throwing knife a uh, lightweight knife or the proximity explosive knife interesting throw a knife that deals extra precision damage and causes scorched to targets and causes scorched targets to ignite okay all righty so 3,000 Glimmer to acquire these. Yes, so if course. I get that, can I also get this? Yes. Yeah, course. so you can, if you have enough Glimmer, you can activate all of them, it looks like. Um, strafe Jump Movement Ability. Right now we have the triple jump, okay? Gives us a third jump while in the air. But you can also get um, uh, extra mobility or greater height. But you only get two instead of three jumps. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this one. Very well. 
And then the grenades, this is the only one we have, the swarm grenade, not a bad grenade by any means. Um, but yeah, there's lots of other things you can unlock. So we unlocked a couple of them. We don't have enough glimmer to do everything, but uh, be well. might as well unlock a couple more. Meditate, voila. All done. Quest completed. Excellent. Okay, now, now, let's take a look at the quests what again. You Complete your tour of the tower in the advent quest speak with the drifter that's the next today. thing it wants if us to wait. do um yeah we can collect a couple more things here let's go ahead and take the shards and the upgrade module and the glimmer we just spent some glimmer so we might as well collect that all right now it wants us to go talk to the drifter we can do it uh we can walk actually we cannot fast travel and we don't have access to that right now so we have to walk I guess it wants us to. Always nice to see Ikora. While we're over here, we should check in with the Drifter. You may be wondering who leads the hunters. See, we lost Kate Six, our hunter vanguard, a while back, killed by a man named Aldrin Sog. It was a difficult time. Now, no hunter wants to take his place. Being a hunter has its challenges. You'll find that out yourself soon enough. I forgot what I was saying. But yep. The bullet always comes when you're not kill anything big lately. You look like you could use a friend, Drifter says with a smirk. Back from the grave with almighty powers just to wind up in this stuffy place. Salute and commander stick up his butt sounds like a bad beat. A coin appears in the drifter's hand. He casually rolls it across his knuckles. I could use a friend, too, you know. And what you need to understand is old drifter always takes care of his friends. His smile stretches ear to ear. Heard you tore the hive up good back in old Russia. Tell you what. Since you like tussling with knights, you can have this sword. No charge, of course, for a friend. Just swing back with your tired of being Zavala's errand runner and we'll talk business. Yeah, so Drifter. Uh, uh, he's a very respectable guy there. But he's given us a sword, so we're not going to complain, right? Next step, talk with Lord Shax. Okay, dokey. Watch your back out there, brother. See, the thing about Drifter is he's unique. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, we should leave it at that. All right, and uh, we also get a shell here. Might as well end up activate that one right there. Okay, keep going, keep going. I want to get this done, and then we're going to end this episode. Because it is past my bedtime. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of little nooks and crannies and, and lots and lots of detail that they put into this entire place. So if you get the urge, you might find something really interesting behind different corners. And I do mean that, literally. There's... Oh, and no tour of the tower would be complete without meeting Lord Shax. Shax is in charge of live fire drills and general combat training for guardians. It all happens in the Crucible, where Shax oversees battles of light versus light. Anyway, there are hidden things around the the, uh, the tower, so it is a good thing to go explore. Did you show the darkness what light can do? Okay, so I'm going to skip to the bottom. You can read that at your own leisure. Like I said, I am quite tired. It is well past my bedtime. You can now access the Triumphs menu. Triumphs are a collection of specific objects to achieve within Destiny 2. Completing them 
contributes to your triumph score and sometimes grants additional rewards. Claim the item below to unlock this system. Thank you very much. Speak with Banshee 44. I'd be right there with you. Check something. When he's not yelling, he plays dodgeball with the children of the city. He, uh, yells during that, too. Anyway, <laughs> Zavala's asking us to visit the gunsmith next. His name is Banshee 44, our resident firearms expert. There he is. Uh, what did we get from Shax? All did... right, I see what you need. Huh. Every little bit helps. Trust me. Yeah, uh, I don't know what we got from Shax. I think it was just access to the triumphs and collections. So, yeah, here they are. And I will go through them in the next episode. Right. Uh, Banshee is going to give us a grenade launcher. Banshee stands at a countertop, meticulously inspecting an unfinished weapon. Oh, hey, you new here? He says gruffly. Don't think I've seen you around before. Then again, not good with faces. He trails off his attention back to some detail of the rifle in his hands. He regards you carefully for a moment. Oh, that's right. Commander told me you were coming. Asked me to get you set up. Got it on a note right here. Here, take this. It's solid. His eyes look past you for a moment before snapping back. Oh, hey, wait. We spoke already, right? Right? Stay safe. <laughs> yeah. And he's the one that's, that, that's, that's in charge of our weapons. Yikes. Anyway, yeah. A, a, a uh, grenade launcher. Very cool, actually. Master Rahul. Rahul. Last stop is yeah. Master Rahul, the yep. Tower Cryptarch. That's short for Crypto Archaeologist. Mm-hmm. Hmm, what cipher is this? Greetings, Guardian Master Rahul says. His attention does not shift from the data pad and in his hand as the tower's resident crypto-archaeologist, I am ever at your service. His tone is dry and flat, and he does not look at you. Bring me any engrams you find, and I will decrypt their matter into a usable state and hopefully learn something interesting in the process. Right, so now you can access the Seasons menu. Seasons last for a certain period of time and provide a variety of rewards as you gain experience. Claim the item below to unlock this system. Well, I've already showed it to you because I've been through this with my Titan. Yeah, so normally you would only get access to that at this point. So... Um, there are still people in the tower to meet, but you can do that at your own pace. Zavala sent me a message saying he has a mission ready for you. Check in with him if that sounds interesting, or we can just explore. In any case, I'm with you till the end. You take the lead. Okay. Yeah. So let's take one more look here. Complete your tour of the tower in the Advent Quest Sp Okay, it wants us to go back to Commander Zavala to finish, uh, finalize this quest line. Before we go, I'm going to go ahead and talk to mas Master Rahul again, Guardian. but he has nothing. Okay. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk to him was because if we go open up our character screen, go to inventory, we have an engram right there, 1363. Uh, but perhaps we can only unlock that in the helm right now. Hmm, okay. Finest mat matter weave. Okay. Defeating bosses have a chance of dropping an enhanced core. Uh, cool. That's an enhancement core, by the way. And they're useful for upgrading our weapons beyond the, the cost of glimmer. No, uh, yeah, beyond the cost of glimmer, like I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Zavala. Let's get this quest line finished before it opens up like a hundred of them all at once and then says, Good luck! Good to have you back. Thank you. 
I see you finished your rounds. These people are invaluable resources for your journey as a guardian. You would do well to remember that as you take your next steps. Speaking of which, I have your first assignment. Shaw has successfully tracked down Navoda in the Cosmodrome. I'm authorizing a strike operation to eliminate her, and I want you to on it. Navoda is responsible for the death of two fellow guardians. We cannot allow her to cull any more from our ranks. I'm trusting you and Shaw to get the job done. Good luck, guardian. Excellent. Okay, guardian rises. Next step, complete the strike, the disgraced by accessing the Vanguard playlist screen in the destinations screen. Okay, it disappeared on me. Thank you very much. And it's going to kick us out of here in just a moment. 15 seconds. So I might as well go here and here and take a look here. Um, yeah, Vanguard playlists utilize matchmaking to help you team up with other guardians. And we get a great deal of experience from completing that quest. But yeah, that's going to be the first thing we do in the next episode because I am tired. It's time for me to go to bed. Actually, it's time for me to go to bed like two hours ago. But I want to get this going before the next season starts. Strikes are dangerous missions meant to be tr tackled by teams of guardians. To access strikes, open the director by pressing tab. Select the Vanguard node and press left mouse button. Vanguard node is, is pulsing up there. Okay. And you only have access to one strike at the moment. Select the node for the disgraced and press left mouse button. Right there. So that's how we access it. Um, strikes make use of matchmaking to group you with other guardians when you're ready to begin matchmaking select the launch button and press left mouse button all right dismiss that so when we're ready yep select that come over here launch and it'll match us up with two random people in the world who actually who also want to play either that exact mission or want to play a random strike but like i said that's going to be the first thing we do in the next episode because that's it for this one Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, yeah. Tired. Okay, yeah. I wanted to check, because if we go to the director here, it's pulsating here down the Cosmodrome and up there on the Vanguard, because you can access it from both locations. Um, no, up maybe. Yep, right over there. So they didn't bother to mention that, but yeah, there you go. You can access it from here or from up there. And we have access to the moon. We have access to Nessus. We have access to the Dreaming City and Europa. Uh, maybe, possibly, at some point we will. I think we have to finish that strike first, though. Uh, what happens if I click over here? Um, yep, yeah, we can land in right there. Excellent, excellent. We can land in there as well. What happens with Nessus? Yep, landing spots are wide open for us. So that's very cool as well. Okay, Dreaming City. Uh, yep, landing zone is open. Public event, Blind Well. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That's a really good place to get lots of engrams and level up. Okay, thank you so much for following along. Congratulations if you happen to make it this far. Uh, Destiny 2, yeah, uh, uh, this is pretty much a, uh, my interpretation of a new player experience, what a new player to Destiny 2 will have to go through, and whether or not it is straightforward, how to progress, that's my, my question, because as an experienced player, uh, uh, 
uh, rather a player who has been supporting Destiny uh, since its release for these past years. I can tell you that when I load into Destiny 2, I have got so many options of things to do that I am overwhelmed and don't really know where to begin. Especially since, and it's my own fault, I have not been... been um, uh, playing every day like some people or consistently like some people you know I, I pick it up I'll, I'll put it away for a while then I'll come back to it and, and then I'll put it away for a while and uh, see so it's rather confusing on on where I should pick up again so I wanted to see if a new player who just picked it up just came into the game uh, how, if, if their progression line was just as confusing as mine is because if so that definitely really really needs to be addressed because I could see people picking up the game going through this and if, if they get bombarded with a you know like 20 different mission possibilities um, they're gonna be like well where, where am I supposed to go first what, what what's what's the the uh, proper uh, mission chains you know so yeah want to wish you a, a very very great morning afternoon or evening where in the world you have may, might happen to be i am the gaming trucker this is destiny 2 and until next time bye bye